All right, Matt, thank you. Well, she is a two time American Idol finalist from Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, and she is making quite a name for herself in the music industry. This morning, Hunter Monroe is waking us up with what her fans describe as her honey and whiskey sound and crisp vocals. Sounds pretty good. We're thrilled to welcome Hunter and two of the members of her band, Kyle and Joe, to our studio on this Music Monday. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. We're so excited to have this American Idol superstar yes. uh, with us this morning. <laughs> So I read in your bio that you were born into a musical family, right, yes. Hunter? So it was pretty much music was in your blood, literally. Pretty much out the womb. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you remember about music growing up? Just music, musically, you know, my grandmother was a singer, mm -hmm. uh, my father's a singer. So just growing up in a family of singers, you know, listening to different genres of music and soul and R&B, um, a little bit of rock, and I just mm -hmm. grew up listening to that. And what are, what artists in particular uh, did you listen to growing up? Uh, Who were some of your favorites? Uh, Marvin Gaye, Otis Redding. Um, Mavis Staples. Yes. I love the Beatles. Great. You know, Led Zeppelin. Good, uh, good role Stones. models for sure. <laughs> and um, how would you describe the style that you've acquired? I know your fans uh, on your website really, you know, describe it very vividly and say it's great to be in the audience. Oh, they love it. Such a unique sound, they yes. say. Yes, we are, you know, blues fueled rock. Uh huh. You know, we're great. You know, the fans love it. Good. They just good. love the energy that we bring on stage. Yeah, they were saying it really sets your sound sets you apart from the other. Other female vocalists right. that we see. And there's out. not many that can do what I can do. Well, that's good. It's good to have that little <laughs> hook. So, talk to us about American Idol. A lot of people know you from American Idol. Why did you want to audition for the show? I auditioned mainly because, you know, I'm, I've been a singer all my life and, you know, I wanted to meet new people and get the experience as a singer, as a seasoned artist. So, I auditioned in 2005 out of Boston. Uh -huh. and I drove three hours to Boston, didn't know anybody. Wow. And auditioned and I made top 45 out of 10,000 in my audition round. Wow, that's great. Yeah. And what about the second time? The second time I made it to the second round. Great. Now, what was that experience like for you? What did you take away from, from that experience? It's great as an artist, you know, especially people that are just starting in the music industry. That's definitely something I would recommend. And doing, getting in front of people, and you know, meeting different people, all walks of life, and you know, getting into music, and it was great to meet, you know, the cast and Simon and all them. And yeah, we have to ask about Simon. <laughs> what was he like? Was he nice? Was he not so nice? He's pretty nice. nice. Yeah, he's pretty nice. Okay, good. Just like what you see on TV is what you get. <laughs> okay, all right. Good to know from an insider. Well, we're dying to hear you. What are you going to perform for us? I'm going to perform my new single called "How Does It Feel" off my EP "Whiskey and Honey." Okay. And it's not actually out yet, so here's a copy. For well. Thank Right, look at this insider Welcome. gift. I love it. And Thanks. it's going to okay. be a late spring release. Okay, so we'll look for it. Folks can keep up with you on your Facebook page or yes. on your website, uh, HunterMonroe.net. Correct. Right? Okay, well, guys, take it away. Thank Hunter you. Monroe, thanks for being here.
Rick, thank you. Well, her fans say she stuns her audiences with her confident stage presence and that her vocal prowess matches her charisma as a performer. Pretty good review. This morning, we're excited to welcome two time American Idol finalist Hunter Monroe to our studio to help us kick off the week with Music Monday, along with two members of her band, Kyle and Joe. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Thanks good morning. so much for being here and starting things off, waking us up on such a nice note this morning. So, you talked to us a little bit about your American Idol uh, experience yes. during our last segment. What doors did that open up for you, Hunter? Were it opened people... up so many yeah, doors. Yeah, I imagine um, people were calling nonstop after yeah, that. Nonstop. Um, we love, I love to give back as an artist, you know, to charities and stuff like that. So we do a lot of benefits for organizations and we do a lot of shows and it, we actually, I just did a benef, um, a duet with Brandon Maddox, who's a Nashville country artist. Right, yeah. We just did a duet with him this past Saturday at Sour Street in Shopsburg. Now, as a performer, do you like the bigger venues or do you like the more or the smaller, more intimate venues? What do you prefer? I like them both. Mm -hmm. I definitely like the smaller venues so that huh. I can get more of a personal feel with my audience. Yeah. And what is it like to be at one of your shows? I, you talked a little bit about the energy before. Full of energy. Uh -huh. When they come to a show, definitely you're going to hear a big vocals, deep down bass, yeah. guitar, and vocals that beg for attention. Yeah, certainly won't put you to sleep, right? No. And speaking, <laughs> speaking of your shows, what do you have coming up on your calendar? I have March 30th. I'm playing a show at Sarah Street in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Right. And I'm also doing a benefit for the Salvation Army. It's Shawnee Riverfest. Great. Okay. And I'm doing Beat Cancer 35 Live uh, September 21st okay. for the BeatCancer.org Foundation. Awesome. Good for you. So folks can keep up with you on your website, HunterMonroe.net or Facebook. Are those the best Ways. Yes, and also my uh, my manager Gil Coronado of Sela Management. Okay, you can also check on his website at SelaManagement.com. Super, and you mentioned you'll have some new music coming out yes. soon. Late so spring release. Okay, Our EP will be out. And what is the ultimate goal for Hunter Monroe? Where do you see yourself in, let's say, five ten years? Five ten years, definitely on tour, definitely okay. rolling with big names. Um, once our EP is released in late spring, we're going to be shooting a music video. Oh, fun! Pre-production. So. Great. Well, hopefully you'll tour back to Allentown and come visit us, even when you're uh, on tour and rich and famous, right? Yes, okay. absolutely. Thank you. We'll be guys. in the studio with Soundline Recording Studio, awesome. working with producer Dan Mulsh. Good for you. Well, congratulations on all your success in Thank such you. a short amount of time. And what are you going to do next? for us this morning. I'm going to do my next single coming up. This is called Time Flies By. Okay. Hunter Monroe, guys, take it away. Thank Thanks you. for being here.